In September 2019, Blackmagic Design announced its ATEM Mini, a low-cost video production switcher designed to allow live streaming to YouTube and business presentations via Skype for just $295. The Mini has four independent HDMI inputs, plus two microphone inputs, an Ethernet port, USB-C port, a true aux output that allows for clean switching from the sources or a program feed. Just seven months later, Blackmagic announced the ATEM Mini Pro with all of the same features of the ATEM Mini and the addition of a streaming encoder and the ability to record to USB-C solid-state drive. The A10 Mini Pro was released at $595, and just three months later, in July 2020, the A10 Mini Pro ISO was released. The ISO model supports all of the same features as the A10 Mini Pro, with the addition of ISO recording of all four sources and a program feed to a solid-state drive for just $995. The streaming community went nuts with the release of these products, some might say due to the global pandemic and more people working from home and in-person events all over the world going virtual. These devices were certainly put through their paces and users were hoping for more. Some users created videos with the wish lists for the next version of the ATEM. Most thought any upgrades would come in the form of a V2 with the same platform and minor updates. Some users were hoping for the four input model to be offered with SDI instead of HDMI. And nearly all users wanted a headphone out for monitoring of the audio. Many users got creative with the gear they used in conjunction with the ATEM Mini to try to expand its capabilities and were quite successful. Let's jump ahead another seven months to February 2021, where once again Blackmagic Design has announced two additional ATEM Mini models, the ATEM Mini Extreme and the Extreme ISO. The Extreme models are eight input HDMI, two inputs for microphones, with a headphone out, four chroma keyers, six DVEs, two USB-C ports for simultaneous recording and computer interfaces, a 16-way multi-view, two HDMI aux outputs, plus the built-in streaming engine and recording features of the previous ATEM Mini models. The new Extreme features a much larger but still desktop platform with a lot more buttons at your fingertips and also offers super sources like the high-end pro models of ATEM switchers. Each input has controls for audio, camera controls when used in conjunction with Blackmagic cameras, HDMI aux output 1 can be switched from the control surface much like the previous models but a new feature of the Extreme is the ability to control import sources for your keyers and DVEs from the select bus, as well as turning both your upstream key one and downstream key one on and off. Another feature that users have been asking for is the ability to run macros directly from the control surface. Six new buttons have been added that will allow the operator to launch the first six macros. This is certainly a huge leap forward in the affordable and easy to use ATEM Mini line from Blackmagic. And I for one can't wait for my extreme ISO to arrive. I'm not sponsored by Blackmagic and my opinions and observations are my own. At $12.95, this gear is affordable compared to other video switchers, but is still a hefty price tag. I've put affiliate links to the gear mentioned down below. Using these links doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps you to support the channel, so I can buy more of this gear to keep making videos for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post future videos. And don't forget to leave a comment.